welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic on a beautiful day here in the UK. Makes a nice change. Um, and today we are not doing a Sudoku, the eagle-eyed amongst you will realise. We are going to be doing something called a hybrid star battle puzzle by Bence Joeful. A puzzle that has been recommended many times to us. And it seems to be a hybrid of star battle, which is one of my very, very favourite logic puzzles, and Philomeno. Um, which I, I like very much as well, but I'm slightly, I feel slightly less good at Philomeno. <laughs> um, don't worry if you don't know what Philomeno or Star Battle rules are, I'm going to explain those in a moment or two. We seem to have a plentiful, plentiful supply of fives in the grid though to help us on our way. So um, let's hope that they are, they are useful and that Bent's Joeful whose puzzle this is and who has appeared on the channel many times before, um, always with wonderful wonderful puzzles i want to say i think i think we've done logic puzzles by bent's joe full as well before not just sudoku puzzles um and yeah we're going to be trying this in a moment i looked it up on logic masters germany before i turned on the webcam and i can tell you it has 99 percent approval rating and just two stars out of five for difficulty which i have to say i take with a small pinch pinch of, of salt because the solvers, especially of the pencil puzzles on Logic Masters Germany, are all very competent solvers. They'll, they will be, for example, instantly familiar with the rules of Philomeno and Star Battle. So there will be none of the learning that will be required. You know, they won't have to learn the puzzle type as they go along. They will simply bash into it. Um, so uh, I, I, I think... I think two stars is likely to be an underestimate, but you'll be able to judge better than me. Have a look at the length of the video to see how hard I have found it, assuming I can get through it at all. Anyway, we'll have a look at this in a moment or two. Um, what do I want to tell you about first? I've got no birthdays to do today, but I do want to say yesterday was, of course, the closing date of this wonderful monthly reward we've been um, doing this this time on Patreon, which is the Planets Suite, a whole system of Sudokus um, themed around the planets. We have had, I think we've had nearly a thousand correct entries, which is absolutely stunning. Um, and so many of those entries have come well, I've come accompanied by facts about one or more of the planets. And I've been reading some of these out over the last two or three weeks. And some of them, I've learned so much. We're going to have to do this again for another another topic. I don't know what topic will be as bountiful as the planets has been in terms of, you know, you guys sending us such weird and wonderful things. Um, today's fact is courtesy of Ryan Walker, who had a fact um early on in the piece, I remember, and it's about Jupiter. So Ryan's fact about Jupiter is that Jupiter is so massive that it doesn't orbit the sun, which instantly is surprising because I thought the nature of the solar system was it was about the things that orbited the sun. But no, uh, it doesn't orbit the sun. Um, both it and the sun orbit their own system center of mass, which is a point in space that is about 50,000 kilometers away from the surface of the sun. So still quite close in sort of astrological terms to the surface of the sun, but not actually the sun itself. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and something I never realized and never have, I'd, I'd have never even considered, but, um, but, but Ryan managed to share it with us. With us. So thank you, Ryan, for uh, more erudition on your part. Um, and thanks to all those of you who've sent in entries. Uh, the closing date, as I say, has now passed. We are generous with that. So if you are just finishing off, do get your entry in soon. We will announce the winners very shortly. Um, and we might have a we might have a catch up on all the great facts that we've missed as well uh, <laughs> in in due course. Now, what else can I tell you about? I don't think there's anything else. So why don't we kick straight into solving and let's see what the hybrid star battle rules are and see what Bent's Joeful has constructed. These are those rules. So it starts off a little bit. Um, a little bit dauntingly, if you've never come across star battle or Philomeno, it says standard Philomeno and star battle rules apply. But don't worry. It then says, i.e., i.e., divide the grid into regions of orthogonally connected cells. Okay, let's start with that. What does that mean? So, those that is not an orthogonally connected region of purple cells, because although these two purple cells do meet each other at a point, 
they don't share an edge and to be orthogonally connected cells must share an edge so this could be a legitimate region in this puzzle i think um, and then okay then we've got the standard phenomena rule this is, which is that two regions of the same size may not share an edge so what we couldn't do is something like that because this region has six cells in it and this region has six cells in it and they share an edge there and that's expressly against the rules so we would be jolly naughty if we tried to do this um, now next it says clued cells must belong to a region containing the indicated number of cells okay so that's normal phenomena as well so what that's saying is that this cell has to be part of a region with five cells in it so does this one so does this one so does this one nori nori so there's a lot of cells in this puzzle that have to be part of five cell regions um, but the, i suppose the challenge is going to be that we can't then join those those regions of size five to one another orthogonally um, because that's going to break the rules of the puzzle so we're going to have to find some arrangement of the regions that works now okay and then we get on to the star battle piece so it then says shade some cells such that each row column and region contains exactly two shaded cells um, so let's let's give this one less less cells so it's not immediately breaking the rules um, so what we, ha we have to do is to put two stars, I'm going to call them because it's, it is star battle. Two stars in this row, two stars in this column, two stars in the purple region if this was the region, two stars in the green region. Um, but shaded cells may not touch one another, not even diagonally. So the only way of achieving that, I think, in the green region would be how should we do, how should we do stars? Let's do, the, let's do circles. We could do that they would be two stars and then in the uh, so that would be broken actually this couldn't work and the reason this couldn't work is that in the purple region we couldn't put two stars in because these two cells couldn't be stars because they would be touching they'd be too close to this circle and now we'd have the task of putting two circles into a two by two and that breaks one of the little cheaty rules about star battle, which is that any two by two can only contain a maximum of one star because of the rules. If you put a star there, these three cells here all touch that one um, and therefore can't contain stars. So that was, so we've totally broken it. But hopefully it made the rules clear to totally break it in that manner. Anyway, do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, I think we should start with one of the five clues. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, feigning, feigning wisdom. Um, hmm, we should start with one of the five clues. Now, which one? We should start with that one. Looks like it wants to be a five. Hang on, I don't want to do that. I want to go. I want to do highlighting of cells. Um, is that? Right, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start by saying something fatuously obvious, but I hadn't realised it was true until I just tried to think about that cell. So I, I forgive me for those of you for whom this was fatuously obvious, but I'm still going to share it. What is the minimum region size in this puzzle? Because it's definitely not one, is it? I mean, if we had a one, a region of size one and ringed it with another region for example how would we put two stars into this purple cell we couldn't that won't work so actually the minimum region is not even of size two because i can't put two stars in there now i could mm, i could actually put two stars in a region of size three if if the stars were in the in the very edges ah but what i couldn't do is have a region of size three that looked like that because that that one of the um, principles of star battle I mentioned it before in the introduction is that in any two by two the maximum number of stars we can put in is one so if we had a three cell region like that that couldn't contain two stars and would have to grow and be and be larger now 
Right, well, all of, which, all of which brings me back to this square, which is that this square cannot be a 1 and therefore must be a 5. And that means we can fill it in. And that's creating, look, a region of size 5. So let's, let's give that its own colour. And, and delineate it from the rest of the grid. We must, we must be thorough in our, in our appointment of regions. Ah, right, okay. Now look at this square. This five cell cannot, it can't connect orthogonally to its friend here. So we can, so we can sort of start hypothecating off or delineating certain cells that can't be fives now. Ah, I know what I should do. I know what I should do, which is a bit OTT, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this an extremely green grid, an eco-friendly grid. There we go. Um, right, so that cell's got to be green. So that's a five. Let's put the black border in. Um, okay, so I can see this square now. Let's make that purple. That can't be a five and it can't be a one cell region and it can't be a two cell region. Ah, but hang on, that's now become green because green has to grow a bit larger. Um, but this could be... No, okay. So actually, what we were saying before is relevant here. If this... Well, it's simply not possible. For pu purple is not complete yet because I couldn't put two stars into it. And purple, if it grows here, breaks this five clue, which could take that cell, but then couldn't take another cell without becoming a size six region. So that cell is not purple. It, I suppose it could be green. Hang on. But it's definitely not purple. Now, purple isn't big enough yet. So purple, grow! Um, a purple still isn't big enough. Actually, let's come back to the green up, the, up at the top here, because what I noticed when I was thinking about it is that could be green. But what's the next cell if that's green, that's in green? It's got to be this one, doesn't it? How could, yeah, to put this a different way. How could this cell here not be green? There's no way to complete this five cell region now without connecting it to one of these and it becoming a six size region. So I think we can actually put five in there and make that green which ah yeah 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 this is this is really beautiful this is really beautiful because it's so simple right what's this square and we might well i did I, I thought that could be green it can't be green because to make this green completes this region stops this being a five and this therefore would be a one cell region which can't have two stars in it, so that doesn't work. So that must be, that must be green. Ah, uh, this is really, it's really elegant already. Ah, now, now purple has to grow, because purple's not big enough yet. Purple is now big enough. Purple has a chi, purple is quarate on, well, wrong, slightly misuse of the term, but purple Purple has enough space that it could have two stars in it now. We could put one in the corner there and one there and it would be fine. Now that square is not green. So that square is the same as this one. And this has to grow. Um, now that's not enough. It can't just grow to there. Yeah, see, it could, well, it could just take the corner, couldn't it? And then it could put two stars there, and that could be a yellow finished. So we're not going to learn enough about that. Um, right, I, t I tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to delineate some boundaries where the greens can't, can't move. Because this green can't go that way, or it would connect to another green. So, okay, so this cell is a, is a new colour. And that cell must get to at least here, because even if it picks up both of those cells, that's not big enough to contain two stars, is it? This is very, it's a really interesting rule, this. So... Okay. 
I might have to think soon about how we um, how we actually apportion stars to these regions because this region I can see something about this region straight away you can't put a star in the middle of it because then it could only have one star in it because that, that would cause a complete a complete absence of stars in the solar system surrounding that Sun um, okay so uh, maybe I will do that then so let's go for what color are we going to use to delim we could have because I want to put X's into the grid let me just have a look at what color ooh that's very dark let's try green on green on green is terrible let's try red no red green red green color blindness is a thing isn't it so I shouldn't do that what about gray oh that's quite that's quite good for the X's at least I think maybe that's what we'll do right so this can be X'd because that definitely can't be the star so right I see so let's think about how we're going to dispose the stars around around this plus shape. Now if I put a star there, it's going to take the other two ring, wings of the cross. Uh, they, they, neither of these could then be a star, could they? So what's going to happen here is either those two cells are stars or these two cells are stars. And whichever one of those is true is going to provide the full complement of stars either for this column or for this row. Now, I feel like I should know which of those is true, but I'm not sure I do. Um, OK, well, the corollary of that, though, is that one of those star cells is a star, because if neither of these was a star, both of those would be a star and they would connect. So one of those is a star, which means that cell is an X. Um, and that, that that just goes round the whole piece, doesn't it? So all of those cells have to not be stars. Which is um, not really doing very much, actually. <laughs> um, okay. That's got to be a new colour coming out of this little cul-de-sac here. OK, that, that's got to be orange because that, even if orange picked up this cell, that's not enough to put two stars into that orange shape. So that's got to be orange. And now orange could be big enough if it just picks up that one because those two could be stars. Uh, that one that one is going to join to this one because its next cell is either this one or this one hmm. I don't know what this one is it could be blue it could be purple or it could be a new color that sort of wends its way down that little alleyway and I, the only thing I do know is it's not green If that's a star, neither of those are a star. And that's going to put pressure on orange to be bigger. Ah, OK, here's a question. Right. How are, how are orange and yellow different colours? If they're different colours, then orange and yellow, which can contain a maximum of those cells there, have to have four stars into those those cells. Now, uh, actually, at first blush, you could do that. You could put one in that two by two, one in that two by two, and two there. But you can't actually do that. I think that would put three stars in column one. But the other reason you can't do it is that one of these is a star. And whichever one of these is a star, it's going to remove two of the cells that could possibly have been stars within that. How big is that? That's a nine cell region. 
So if two of the cells are being knocked out automatically by one of these being a star, you've got to put four stars into a seven cell region. Well, there's no way you can put four stars in that. And I'm pretty sure you can't put four stars in that either. So that, that just doesn't work. So what that tells us is that orange and yellow are the same, which is rather interesting. So now that must be yellow. That must be yellow because we can't, right, we can't have another region sitting in these one or two cell sized cells. So now, do we know what this is, is the next question. No, not at all, I think. So no, it's, the, it's the unfortunate answer to that because I can easily fit two stars, even even with one of these being a star, I can easily fit two stars into what's left. Yeah, I can do it actually. Although, ooh, hang on. Well, if that's a star, it gets more difficult. Actually, if that's a star, that is yellow because it has to be a star. And that's for, a, it's, it's difficult to see, but if that, imagine that was a star, that's knocking stars out of all those. And you can't put two stars in row one now because of this little L pentomino of greenliness. If these were two stars, none of those could be stars because we'd have our two stars in row one and you'd have to put two stars in this region in that domino. And that's not gonna work. Um, okay, which I feel like there's something I can do there, but I, my brain is, my brain, my brain is being very annoying. Actually, my brain is saying there's something you can do there, but it's not, my brain isn't telling me what it is, which is completely remiss of it. Naughty brain. Useless brain. Gah, right. Brain has let itself down. Go to the doghouse brain. Um, now, where do we look? We should look at. I keep trying. I, I do keep coming back to this one and thinking there's some way I can divide it up that's going to be useful, but then failing to do it. And that this stuff on the right looks very complicated to me. Um, It looks very complicated. Actually, how could that be green? That looks that looks impossible because I think this is going to get stranded. Yeah, if that's green, I now can't connect this green to this four cell region without that being a six cell region that's got fives in it. That's not gonna work, but there isn't enough space here to create a five cell region. So that cell is blue because it's got to join it's got to join to this domino now it's still not big enough to have two stars in it but that cell is blue so this square now that square does join to this one and possibly to this one how could it not join to that one cool it nearly can actually but i don't think it can right so imagine this cell is not green let's give it another color let's make it orange again this square would join that one, couldn't go there, and you could do that, and you could make a region of size five, but this cell would be a one cell region, which we, we've learned already is impossible. So that cell is also green, that gets a five, and now this can't join to that, so that's a worth recording, isn't it? And it can't join to this one either. I don't know why that one seems more clear to me. Um, okay, well, we've got another color coming out here now. So we can use uh, red. We've not used red yet. And, and what? Well, we've got to be a bit care. Oh, I see. Right, okay, that's red. Because imagine that wasn't red. Well, the only other thing it could be, oh no, hang on, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I forgot that you could have a three cell region there and those could both be stars. Ah, okay, so we, do, we can't do that. 
OK, well, one thing we can do is look at this square. That definitely cannot be green because that would strand a one cell region in the corner. So we can delineate this cell from the world. But I don't think we can tell whether this is a this is a small three cell region. Oh, hang on. No, I can do that, actually. I can do it by a different trick. So imagine that was a three cell region. You'd have to put two stars there and there. And now there's no room in this green region for two stars because all those three would be ruled out. I could put one star there, but the second star would be impossible. So let's come back to this then. So this is not a three cell region and this cell is not green. So it is red and red must join up. And now red's big enough to have two stars in it. But, that, but again, this can't be a star in red because it would break green. So, OK, so I should record that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's not be shy about it. That should be recorded as un, unstarable. Now. So again, I think this is not capable of being a star, because if that's a star, the, the, the final cell of green is either here or here, but it would be seen by a star in this cell. Oh, got something. Right. OK, now we're going to have a look at the top set, top row of the grid. Because, because how many stars are in that sequence? And the answer is at least one, because I can't put two there. So there's at least one here. How many stars are in green over here in the top row? And the answer is. Well, the answer is at least one again. In fact, the answer is exactly one, because I can't put more than one star in, in those two cells. And therefore, I must have a star up here somewhere. So in the top row, the two stars are taken up by one from here and one from somewhere here. And therefore, none of these cells can be stars. And now yellow stars. How? Yeah, OK, so now this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So now how could this be a star? It can't be a star because it would rule th these three out from yellow. And now there's nowhere in yellow to put st stars. Well, there could, there's a maximum of one cell if this cell here was yellow. But that's one st star is not enough. So this is an X, which means this is an X. It means these two are stars. It means we can X this column out because we've got two stars. Whoopsie, we've got two stars in the column. Now we've got to X around these stars. So that's become an, a not a star. This is not a star. This is not a star. Ah, and this is beautiful. Right, now I'm going to look more closely at this L tetromino we've got left in, in this five region. Because remember the two by two rule. Well, now I can split up what's left here into two two by twos. That one and that one. And because there must now be a star in this domino, this can't be a star or it would rule a star out of that top domino. So that means this is a star, which we get to X all around. Boom, 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 boom. That's the technical term for Xing. Um, ooh, oh, I thought I was going to get something in row two then, but I can't do that. Uh, I've got one star here. OK, this isn't a star. Because the other star we've got in the top row is in green for sure. And that cell cannot be green. This one here. So there's a star in one of those three, but I don't think I know which one it is. And in yellow, if we come back to yellow, where are the stars going? It, it depends a bit on whether this is yellow. But there must be a star in that domino. There must be. Otherwise, there's not enough room. So there's one star there and there's one star there, but we... It's probably here, but we don't know. But that, that completes the complement of stars for column one. So we can X everything down here as well. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. All right. Here's another little trick we can do. So a good way to approach star battle sometimes is to consider rows together and say, how many stars do we need to have in this puzzle in two rows? 
Well, the answer is four stars because there's two in each row. Now, look at row two and row three together and count the stars. There's one star here, one star here, that's two, one star here, it's three. And there must be a star in one of those two because if there was no star in one of those two, you couldn't put two stars in this green region however you finished it. And that means that's all four stars, which means we get to X this and X this. And now red is not big enough to have two stars in it. So red, red does have to grow actually. I was wondering about whether red could grow here. Red can grow there, but even if it grows there, it's not allowed to have a star there because the star in the top row we know is green. Um, in fact, I'm just thinking, I'm gonna join those up with a little line to indicate there is a star in one of those two. And there's a star in one of those three, but it's a green star. Now, what does this mean? A very good question, to which I don't, oh, blue. Blue is not big enough to have a star in it. It's got no stars in it yet, and it can't get a star from the top row, so blue's got to grow. This square is now either blue or purple because it's not a one. This square's got to get out, so that's become green. That's a five. And that can't, that cell now is blue because if it was green, it would create a six cell region. So that's blue and could be a star, I think. Yeah, now red, red's got to grow for the reason we mentioned before. So what is this green region doing now? Does it take that square is the question. The answer is yes, because if it doesn't take this square, let's, let's try and look at that. If it doesn't take this square, green goes here for its fourth cell. Where does it get a fifth? Well, one of those two, but that will connect it to a sixth and that won't work. So that's green. That completes an F pentomino of greenliness, which we can delineate. Uh, this square now can't, this square, this square's fenced off on all three, on its north, east and south borders. So it has to go here which is not where I thought it was going to go because this is now penning. Oh, but purple could be blue, could it? Purple is blue. There's a, there's a, something I didn't think we were going to be saying, but purple is blue. Let me explain why. Um, how many stars can we put in blue at the moment? And the answer is, a Mac, we could put one here. In fact, we, in fact, I've just seen we can't put one there because of, it would break this F, this five region. Um, so, that, so that can't even be a star. Let's let's X that. So, how many stars have we now got in blue? The answer is zero. There are zero stars in blue so far. Remember, if blue, if there is a star in the top row, and there is, it's green. It's not blue. So there are no blue stars, and therefore blue has to keep growing, and then blue bumps into purple. So actually, therefore, blue becomes purple. And we've still got no stars in it. So that so these have got to be purple to get out. This, this square becomes a five. <laughs> this becomes a five. And that's therefore green. And it can't turn can't turn east, can it? So we've got it's going to join down there, I think, but we'll get to that in a moment. Red red is still not big enough. Red could have one star there only. It can't have a star in the top row, so red needs to grow more. This square. Well, hmm. could that be a third color that's not red or green? Because we know it's not green. Could it be yellow, say? Then I'd have to put a star here and a star in one of those two. Yeah, that might work actually, I'm not sure. Um, that's got to not be green, so that must be purple. Could that be a third color? Not. It's obviously not green, could it not be purple? The answer to that is I think that's probably okay. Right, this is 
some other colour. It's not it's not green. It's got to get out. Um one, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> Three, four. Uh all right, let's okay, here's a small point that we can do now with this F pentomino then. We can split this up. That's got to contain a two a uh, star, and that's got to contain a star. Now, if there's a star in this domino, and there must be in here, one of those two must be a star, or you couldn't put two stars in, in, in the region. That, therefore, is not star, and there is a star in one of those two cells, which means that cell's not a star. And that's very important for the following reason. Come on, brain. Think of the reason. What about rows four and five then? One, two, three. I've already got three stars in there. We don't know about this though. That could well be a star there. Almost certainly has to be. I mean, if neither of these were a star, uh, we could, no, we could maybe have two stars like that. So we don't know about that yet. What about, okay, here's, a, right, this, this region's under pressure, actually. Because remember, if this square's green, it can't be, it can't be a green star, is what I'm thinking. Because we know that these two cells, or the two stripes we've got up here, are the yellow stars, because yellow needs two stars. And they're going to be, there's going to be a star in one of those and a star in one of those. So if this was green, I can't just star it. Um, that would be a third star in, two, in the first column. So I've got no, right, hang on, I've got no stars in green. Even if I take this cell, I've got to get two stars. So this must be, I want to say that must be a star. It certainly must be green. Because if this is not green, green is doing this with no stars in it yet. And it's only got one more cell to take. So that's got to be green. I think it's got to be a star. If it wasn't a star, let's just look at that. If it's not a star, how do I get two stars into green? Bearing in mind, this can't be a green star. There's no way. There's only one cell it could possibly get a star in. Or, or you, could, you could bring it down here, but I can only put one star in that domino. So this is a star. That's going to be... Right, that's, that is important because look, now this can't be a star, which means that is a star which means that's not a star, it means that is a star, and yellow is finished. We still, well, we do, we do. We do now know what color this cell is, this cell here. Because look at the nature of green. Green has got one star in it in those three. It needs another star. Where does it get it from? It's got two, we've got two potential greens to play with. We could have gone that way, except that's going to connect it to this region and create an eight region. So that doesn't work. So we have to go down there. Those two have to both be green. This is so pretty and clever. And therefore that's, look, we've got a, we've got a Y pentomino of greenliness forcing this now to be yellow because it can't be a one cell region. We've got... Oh, look, we've got loads of stuff going on. In fact, I might need a different color to see my stars a bit more clearly. The stars are quite gray and drab. I think I'll, I'll keep going with it, but I, I'm just noting that they're not, they're not quite as delineated as I might like. I'm going to make them like that. That's better. I can see those a bit more clearly. I hope that's not ruining everything for people. Um, I'm only going to make the stars red, not not the grey, not the grey X's. But you can see in row two, I've got my two stars now. So this isn't allowed to be a star. So that's a star, which which allows me to X this square and X this square because we can't have a star around this and X this square, which makes this a star. Let's red that one. 
that's well, that's a start. Now we've got to X all around this, which is going to do work because now this is a star. Let's make sure it's the right color. I've done I've done my oh hang on I've done lots of things here because now I've got two stars in column whatever the column this is column nine is it I've got right I've got this star here which has got to have X's all around it so okay I've got two stars in row six, so we can we can continue our journey of starification, stellification uh, of of the world. We can. Okay, what so what's this done? I'll tell you what's looking a bit strange to me. I've not put in any numbers. This is a nine cell region. I'm going to put nines into it so that it looks like it's been finished. Right, so if we just take stock here, we have finished row two, row three, row four. We've not finished row five. Okay, where's where's row five's second star? It's there, it's the only place it can go. Ah, no, I want to star that. That's a star. We finished row six, we've got two stars in that. We haven't done row seven. Right, row seven's interesting. Where do the two stars go? There's got to be one there and there's got to be one here. That's the only place we can do it. So that's great. That gets us more X's. X here, X here, because we can't put X's next to one of these squares, which needs to be a, a star. Um, a pregnant pause while I think. Hang on. We've got... Oh, I see. Right. OK, <laughs> now we're going to look at this column where we have got an awful lot of unproductive cells. We have got X's everywhere and we've got those three cells that have got to contain two stars. So that one, you've guessed it, has to be a star. And therefore, this one is not a star. So let's fill that one in with X. There's got to be a star in this domino, which means we've got no stars in these squares. Um, oh, I see. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. So now, where does this one get its second star from? I thought it was just going to join to that, but I've, I've now realized this is not a star. So the only place this can get a second star from is there. That's got to be green and a five and a star and then this square is not green or it's going to create a region of size six so that square's blue because it's got to bump into this blue this square's green and that's created a w pentomino of this this one purple purple now still has got no stars in it and purple's got to come all the way down there um and I've got, oh, I know what I can do. That looks a bit strange up at the top. So I'm going to ring that off. And I've got, I've got an awful lot of regions now as well. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Right. OK. Right. So Ben Stjofel has been playing a game with us here, I think, because this is absolutely wonderful. So there is something very profound we can say about the colouring of this puzzle now. If you, if you didn't understand what I just did then, it's worth pausing the video and thinking about it from a sort of meta perspective, because there is something very cool going on. We're about we're about to do magic. Um, because what I was thinking was that I had a lot of, if you think about a 10 by 10 star battle puzzle, which is what this is, how many regions are we anticipating there being in this puzzle? Well, given every region has to have two stars in it, there must be 10, 10 regions. And if you just do a quick count, we've got this yellow region, one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This has got to be an 8th region. That can't join to anything I've already put a cell in. And that cell and this cell can't join up together. They're too far apart. So that's nine regions we've just identified. And we haven't even thought about the purple region, which clearly is not a size five region. So that's its own region. And everything that is not green in this puzzle, in other words, has to be part of the same massive region. <laughs> Because that massive region is the 10th region that must have the other two stars in them. So we can immediately double click every other color and turn it purple. And what's more than that, every single cell in this puzzle that is not capable of being green now, and I'm thinking these cells, for example, these cells, that cell, all of those are purple because they can't be any, there's no other regions that are possible. That cell, because that can't be green. It's not actually, if it's very cool as well, if you actually look at the cells I've just marked purple, only one of them could possibly be a star. <laughs> That's that one. Um, no, in fact, I've just seen that can't be a star because I've not got two stars in this region. So that's got to be, that's got to be a star. Ah, no, that one. So now we can X, X around this, X this column out. Okay, it's not done a dramatic amount for us. Wow, okay. All right, here's a thought though now. What, what's this? Now the answer is this is not some, is this must be part of one of these two's region because it's not an 11th region in the puzzle. So the only one of these it can meet is this one. Now, how does it meet this one? Well, what it can't do is meet it like that, because that's going to hive off an 11th region. We know no such 11th region exists. So we've got to join these together in a way that doesn't create any new regions, which forces that pattern, which means, look at this, there's now a second star down here, which means that the rest of this column, uh, let's go up there, that's got to, right, this is massive. That cell now has to not be star. And if that's not star, the star in the top row is now exactly there. Wah! There. And therefore that cell we know is the green because it's got to be the second star in this region. Oh, this is just, it's absolutely breathtaking. Although how this is rated two stars out of five. I mean, maybe if you were doing star battles, you know, every day this would this would all be completely obvious to you but to me it's certainly not obvious right all of these have to be purple because none of them can be green let's hive off this region start to delineate the purples which are ma it's a massive region this purple thing um and hmm what else what else do we need to do then? So, okay, I can see in this column. No, I can't because I, I've still got something unresolved at the top. Okay, I see. Look at this column. How did I X? Oh, I X these because I knew that. That's fair enough. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so in this column, where's the second star? It's got to be right at the top. So that's another star we, we get to put in just there. And then this square becomes an X. And now if you look down column six here, there must be a star at the bottom. So one of those three cells is a star. One of these three cells is a star to complete this column. I see. And one of those is a star. So we've got, we've nearly learned a number of things about the world, but we haven't quite learned enough things yet, have we? So, uh, okay, let me think about this. So we've got, we've got green here that needs two stars and it's got no stars. And purple, which has got no stars, <laughs> needs two stars. So, okay, so purple, 
purple and green are sharing their stars here. One of these is a star. I don't know if I know which one. Okay. All right, here's a point. Green, this green region never goes into the bottom of the grid because because of that edge look it, or let's trace it through start here and you can see that there are connections not orthogonal connections but diagonal connections all the way down to here so if this green does ever make it to the bottom of the grid the right side of the purple which is this side here over here could never connect to the left side of the purple so this this, well, I don't know where this green goes, but the bottom of the grid is entirely purple, is what that's telling us. Well, that must be purple now. I'm sure there's a clever way of doing this. I'm just not quite seeing it. Um, what we could say is... Um, <laughs> all right, here, here's a small point that cell clearly is not a star <laughs> because if that was a star the three stars that need to exist in that area there would only be one star so that's not a star let's gray that um like that so one of the either this is a star oh i see oh no it's obvious right okay okay so the question we need to ask is which one of these is a star now if we put the star at the bottom we put the star here well now now the only place for a star on this line is here and the only place for a star on this line is here and i've got three stars now in row eight that's wrong so what we need to do instead is have this as a star and if that's a star what the effect of that is this is now not a star this is not a star this is not a star this is not a star and then i've got to put two stars into those squares on those lines because I've already got my stars now in this column. So, right, so we can do this. We get rid of these lines. We get an X here. Wah! An X there. Oh, hang on. I want to put an X in here. Ah, I've got, um, now I've got my two stars in the bottom row. So I can complete a star here and a star here. Oh, and now I've, right, so now I've finished the puzzle. Well, I haven't finished the puzzle. I've finished the stars of the puzzle which is great, I think. I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've got 20 stars. Right, so the, the, only, the only thing left to do, oh, I see, and I can see how it works. Right, I've got my two stars in purple, so I need two stars in green, which must be those, and I've got two more cells. I've got three green, I've got two cells to connect it, so it's got to be a five cell region. So it's got to be that one. It's got to be that one. That's absolutely beautiful. Everything else in the grid is purple. We get to delineate this region. That is spectacularly clever um, of Bent's Jofel. That is just epic. Epic. I'm just I'm just taking a moment to check. I have got two stars in every column. I think I have. What I haven't done is to write fives into all of those. Five in here, fives in here. And goodness only knows what the size of purple is. We can work that out actually, um, and we probably ought to just to be a completionist about this so this is a 10 by 10 grid so we've got a hundred cells we've got a nine region we've got one two three four five six seven eight five cell region so we've got 49 49 of cells that are not purple so we have 51 of cells that are purple now i can't write 51 into the cells so i will do it by cheating i will do a five there and a one in the middle and then it looks like all of these are 51s. That's just absolutely brilliant. I love that. I don't know if it'll understand it. Oh, no, it really doesn't like that. It really, really doesn't like that. Um, so I'm afraid that we can't, <laughs> we can't verify the solution, but we can say that we have got a, uh, well, certainly I think we did it logically and it was absolutely magnificent. I hope you had a go. I'd love to know what your comments are on this one because I do think that that is, that is a spectacular hybrid.
spectacular and i love the fact that there is a 51 region in any philomeno puzzle let me know in the comments how you got on i enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>